I guarantee, I guarantee this is going to be some bullshit like my plays didn't say. The EA Sports coverage of the NFL has us at the foot of the Rockies just west of downtown Denver at Empower Field at Mile High. All season between the Chicago Bears and the Denver Broncos. And off we go from Denver. I'm starting off with the perfect kick. Taken at the goal line. Now a crease here as he's past the 30. And yeah, they'll have very good So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. They start on the ground with Nick Chow. Time. He maybe got a yard up the Fucking middle. get it. He's starting off the beat. Oh, there's plenty of traffic waiting for him up the middle. But give him credit, he tried to barrel up through it anyway. They're fortunate to get a yard out of that one. Play fake. Mariota. That's caught by his tight end, Evan Ingram. And they're going to get this to about the 44 yard line. Well, partner, that's the start that you want right there. And you know he spent the entire offseason throwing hundreds, I'd probably say thousands of passes, getting ready for that moment. The first throw of the new season. He's dreamed about it, thought about it, and now it's out of the way. Yeah, one for one, a lot more to go. On first down, they'll run with Chubb. And he's going to get stopped up quickly. Give him a yard down to the 43. No doubt about it. A really nice job there by the defense, not allowing him to get to the perimeter. But that running game as well. And they did a nice job there holding the point of attack and not giving ground. Oh my God, I gave him the touchdown. Excellent start there. First drive of the season. Big time success putting it in the end zone. Bitch. And remember, that was done without any real map of how to do it. In other words, the deeper you get into the season, you get game film to work off of, tendencies to work off of. The first drive of the season, things Damn, can be entirely different. I ain't even set my, I didn't set my adjustments past. either. It's a really good job of That's what I get. By them. The Bears send the kicking team out there, and they will send this one away. And a fair catch signaled for and taken successfully. We're coming out right a first carry now for Kareem Hunt, and they're going to stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Just no cutback lane to be found whatsoever. Second and ten. Looked like he was trying to bounce it outside, but no success. Yeah, sometimes you got to just figure out where you're going to go, and sometimes you just have to take it to another spot. And trying to get it outside, the defensive pursuit was there, and just ran him down. They had the run for no gain. Now they'll try again from the 25 on second and 10. Burtz. And he'll go down. I picked the wrong play anyway. Like, what the fuck? What am I on? I'm looking like, what the fuck am I formation of my own? And this is what you've got to do against a quarterback like him. You've got to keep him in the pocket and not let him get to the perimeter because once he gets outside, that's where he can really hurt you. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Got a man open. It's Darren Waller. Finding room in midfield. Big strides. Look at him go. And he will work his way out of bounds here at the 25-yard line. Huge play there for Denver. 55 yards. I'm wondering, like, what the, the fuck play am I running? The missed tackle that allowed the extra yardage. It's a matchup game in the NFL. You 
get the guy that you want isolated, have him miss a tackle, and off you go. So that changes things in a big way. Now from all the way down the inside the 30, here's first and 10. Down to the 25. Give him maybe a yard, quite the opposite from the previous big gainer. Yeah, things were pretty stacked up there in the middle of the line. A lot of bodies, not much space. I think ultimately, he was fortunate to get anything out of that run. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. Hurt sets up to throw it. Finding Lockett for the catch here on the out route. Touchdown, Broncos! Ooh, touchdown back, puss. Get my shit back in blood. Fuck, fuck. What is this team? And the Broncos respond to that opening drive touchdown with one of their own. Okay, we're starting off this year better. Uh, whatever your name is, kicker. We're starting off this year better, my boy. Bringing it out of his end zone, Isaiah Rogers. And it's a pretty good return here, so he'll get this up to the 29. Shit. the line prepping for their next drive the Bears offense they were successful last time finding the end zone on their opening drive of the season and they get another Let's shot get it the first to Lawrence, nigga. and nowhere to run on the interior of that defensive line he'll get back only to the line of scrimmage and the big fella stuffed that one up in a big way I think doubling him I has a priority because you can't move up shit. to the next level if you don't take care of him first they go play action Mariota Slings this deep from McLaurin. In a double coverage, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Ronald Darby. Boy, that one was in the air for an agonizingly long time. Uh, just that begging pick, to be though. picked off, wasn't huh. it? Back to a regularly motherfucking scheduled program with these niggas. That ball needed to be thrown with a lot more conviction. As a result, it's an easy interception. To begin the drive, here's a handoff to Hunt. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. Well, they didn't get a whole lot out of that one, but I think you got to continue to try and run and try and keep the defense honest. You mean, or also just sit back, dare you to throw it on every down? Yeah, you get your quarterback hit a lot that way, too. From the 24, Hurts. And there is Amari Cooper, his first catch. First catch of the new season for him, and he picks up the first. Here's Hurts. The play just don't work. It don't work. And that one winds up incomplete. I think he's got to be careful not to force anything into coverage right there. There weren't really any throwing lanes. The play literally the don't work. For him, Straight he's on got that second play. and third down to fall back on. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. Throwing is Hurts. Gets this to Kareem Hunt, his running back. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. On first down, they'll run with Hunt. Finding room at midfield. And he's going to get this down to the 35-yard line. That's good for 21 yards and a first down. 7-7, our score after one. Can't make this shit up. That play just don't work.
So into Bear territory now. This is first and 10 at the 35-yard line. They stay on the ground. Again, it's Hunt. Yeah, this will be a gain of five. I keep picking the wrong play. That's me. Like, I've seen the play I want to pick. I know the play I want to pick. But I picked that. Of course, press trying. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. Here's Hurts to throw. Oh, looking for Waller, but this is intercepted. Eddie Jackson picks it, and the Bears are going to take no! over once again Pick at their own 25 yard line. So, consecutive interceptions here early on in this one, and maybe setting the tone, Charles, for a game where the defense really takes center stage. And don't you think that both offenses are really catching a bit from their coaching staff about avoiding these turnovers that we've seen early? I think both teams are trying to find an advantage. This we know that. The Can one of them break away? and take control of this game. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. They give the chub out of the gun. Only a couple there as he'll be brought down about the 28. But not much on that run, Charles. No, that's exactly the way to execute a run blitz there. They guessed correctly that they would move the ball on the ground. Honed in on it and stopped him. Mark that down for a win in the defense's column. On third down, Mariota. Trying for Ayuk, but it's intercepted. And he takes this one back into the end zone. The defense has a touchdown. And the defense, they were all over that. As soon as that ball was in the air, it was dangerous. Not only was it intercepted, CD, but they return it for the touchdown. Yeah, and he read that the entire way. He was reacting before other players had a chance to react themselves. Had the determination to say, this just won't be a pick. It's going to be six points as he takes it the other way to the end zone. An extra point by Bass. Uh, sir, give me my shit. That makes the score 14 to 7. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. Rodgers going to return it from his end zone. And the decision to that bring it out, not a good one. As he's Is that Isaiah Rodgers? Now we're going to get a stoppage. It appears to be an injured bear on the field. Thank you, Isaiah Rodgers. Well, you always hate to see injuries, especially tough here in week one. Just hoping this is nothing serious. We'll take a quick timeout. The Bears offense ready to go for their next drive. They're sort of seeing themselves spiral out of control. Let's see if they can get things back on track. And this is where the coach is walking that line of being calm and really being firm with his team. Add one, tell me one, see that when we're having a tough patch. This too shall pass. This too shall pass. And if I would kept having a rough patch, he said, but you've got to do something <laughs> up. to make it pass. And that's what they have to do. They've got to get some control back, get themselves reasserted, and calm things down. See if they can get calm this and reassert team. themselves yeah. here. They do get a couple, but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up. Well, that's a good start to this drive on the defensive side of the ball. 4C and completion on first down. Then you're able to shut down the running play on second. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised now. A little bit of pressure going at the quarterback on the expected passing situation. To throw Mariota. And Ingram holds it in. Oh, that's your pick, and he Leonard. will have the Bears first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And that's well executed there that's on third pick, down. Man. And I love the confidence that they had to let their tight end try and find some space in the middle of the field right in their quarterback's line that's of vision. And pick, QBs man. love to make that easy throw. And they hooked up there for a first down. And Chubble trying the middle here. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. Even though they gave up more than they wanted to on That's that play, pick, it Leonard. actually illustrates how well they bottled him up throughout the game because that was his longest run of this contest. The last run got six, now second and four. Mariota. 
Over the middle, he's got Who's his that tight on? end Ingram. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. A little Pass too interference. aggressive defensively, and the flag comes out. And no one trying to cover is going to like a call going against them, but you have to like the effort there. Went for the interception, just unable to get it, and the flag did come out. Following the penalty, Chubb, and just no chance of turning the corner. He can only get back to the line of scrimmage. Second and ten coming up. The running lanes have definitely not been there for him here in the first half, and I don't think it's all been his fault. His offensive line hasn't given him much space. A loss results there. Looking to throw on second down. Mariota, they'll complete this to Ingram as tight end. And this is going to be another first down as they'll make the tackle at the Broncos 43. Chubb complete on the out route. And they're going to get this down near the 35-yard line. And a nice gain and, and a broken tackle along the way. And really, we shouldn't be surprised, should we? That's what runners do, especially the best ones. They break tackles and gain extra yardage. Only needing two yards on second down. Throwing is Mariota. Here's Chubb, back-to-back -back catches for him. And this is going to be another first down as they'll make the get tackle to a at the Broncos 22-yard line. Mark that down as a pickup of 13, and the Bears have the first. They'll try to draw now with Chubb. And able to work his way down to the 16. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves him with a second and three. That's a strong pickup right there on first down. And as this drive goes on, we're seeing an offensive line and running game imposing its will. So they'll come up after the gain of seven on a second and three. Now here's a look for the end zone, but that one's going to wind up incomplete. They're putting together a drive here in the final minutes of the half, but the coverage has been tight all game long, and they certainly want to keep them off the scoreboard here. So the incomplete pass on the last play, and that leads us to a third and three. And for the third time here in this half, it's intercepted. And the Broncos are going to take over at their own. And who that is? Good luck on the team advances as far as they did, got over the 50 yard line. Don't you think that drive deserved a better ending? I think he needs to get with his coaches on the sidelines, make some immediate adjustments, and that's what you do. You don't wait, you do it from series to series. Because drives like that, the end with a turnover. That's multiple times they picked him off already in this opening. He's got a man complete. And he's going to be taken down right at the 40-yard line. Now the Broncos are going to call the first of their timeouts. As the clock will stop with 35 seconds to go in quarter number two. So the big play moves him all the way across midfield to the 40 now for first and 10. They'll drop to throw. Man open. It's J.J. Ortega wide side. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. The 22 more yards there and another first down. Good job there of getting his tight end involved because he lines up on the right side of the formation, just works his way across the field. I really like how they were in sync on that one. He spotted the open gap in the zone, and his quarterback found him, and they get a first down. Now he will reach the five-yard line before going out of bounds. Another good gain. That's now 35 yards combined on those last two plays. Just picking up yardage in bunches here. These last few plays, they have moved right down the field. And just like that, they're going to be set up with a first and goal. So three plays already first and goal, and they are wasting little time. Hunt will try going up the middle. And he goes backwards on this one. Losing yardage to the seven. Now the Broncos going to use the second of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 20 seconds to go in the first half. Now from the seven, here's second and goal. Off the play fake, here's Hurts. And oh, it'll be intercepted. 
intercepted. Picked up by Jesse Bates. What and the, the Bears are going to take Why would you run all the way to the back? because they can see the end zone, but it'll stay out of reach because of their error. All their offensive teammates have to give the quarterback right now offer a little bit of encouragement because what's done is done. Let's get him next time out. And he's not going to go anywhere as they get him down behind the line of scrimmage. Now a timeout signal for, and they'll get it with 10 seconds to go before halftime. I have a Hurt feeling they'll stay committed to running the football, especially on the early downs. They just haven't had a whole lot of success just yet. A loss of a yard there to start out. That leads to a second and 11. Here's Mariota. That ball caught. Brandon Ayu. And now we'll get a late timeout as it comes in the waning moments of quarter number two. Slings this deep from McLaurin. And that is incomplete. So we've reached half the time. Here 21, bro. I'm tripping. I'm tripping. I'm tripping. In Orlando. Here's Jonathan Coachman at REA Sports Halftime Report. And we welcome you back live now inside the booth alongside Charles Davis. I'm, I ain't set my booth set and ready to rock for the third quarter. We'll see if week one fatigue becomes any kind of a factor as I we are my back defense underway up. in the second half. And no return on this Bro, one. It's what? a fair catch, a signal four, and take it. Bro, can I find this uh, formation, please? Can I please find this formation? Bro? Denver offense at the line, ready to go. And despite the turnovers, Charles, and they had multiple in that first half, they still have the lead as they begin this third quarter. And they probably heard some conflicting tones at the half, don't you think? A lot of praise for what they did to get this lead, but also a little bit of scolding because they got to take better care of the football in the second half. But you and I both know the great leaders, they know how to give that little bit of vinegar in there and cover it with a big dose of honey. got three now here's second and seven hey check that check that three three yeah. he'll look to throw got a man it's darren waller and he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down they'll throw on first down with hurts he's gonna loft this one deep left sideline and hurts is intercepted his third of the game picked off by isaiah rogers and the bears are gonna have the football at their own one yard line that is just what this defense was hoping for an interception on the opening possession of this third quarter obviously didn't want to surrender a touchdown and fall even farther behind and We've got to know this team a little bit, haven't we? Couldn't you just see their defensive leaders telling the offensive guys, telling the quarterback, don't yeah. worry, we got you to start things off. You take it from there. Second down, here's Chubb again. And this has been a familiar sight all afternoon as they stop in behind the line. Now they're staring at a third and eight. That last play, backwards a yard. This defense is just flat getting after it. They have not given up much of anything in the run game. Case in point right there. They'd like to avoid punting from their own end zone so they could use something here on third down. Now Mariota. Finds his tight end Ingram. And he will have the Bears first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. 
And that's a much needed completion right there on third down. Really a sigh of relief, isn't it? They're backed up deep. You know they don't want to give the ball back to the other guys. A great field position. They needed that throw, that completion, that first down. First down, Mariota. Completes it to Evan Ingram. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. Give him back-to-back -back catches now. That one for 16. And another first down. A couple of first downs right in succession. And this is an offense that can really use a good drive. And they're off to a fast start here. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. They go up the middle with Chubb. And he'll work this one up to about the 38. Second down, here's Chubb again. And some room to work. 44 yards rushing for him in the ball game now on 14 carries. Now the Broncos are going to take a timeout. It's just their first, so two remaining as they burn one here in this third quarter. They run it again with Chubb. And past the 35, he'll be dropped a yard or two shy of the 30. Another nice gain. That's now 30 yards between those last two plays. Chubb will get the call running left. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. Certainly a nice job there by the defense rallying to the football and getting him on the ground. But I think the play gets made by the defensive front because if they can't get upfield, their job is to go ahead and get low, almost get into a ball sometimes, stack things up, and make it difficult for the run. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked off by Ronald Darby. And the Broncos are going to take possession here at their own three-yard line. Second half, close game, and we're certainly seeing some exciting plays, but it's really been the defensives. That's now back-to-back -back drives that have ended with interceptions. Yeah, the guys on the other side of the ball, as we like to say, the defenders, they've been the difference makers for their teams. And when they're taking a game up to this kind of a level, I want to see what happens with these offenses. Can they match them as this game goes on? Or will the defenders continue that full control of this one? And he'll take this up to about the seven or eight yard line. The tackle credited to Deshaun Elliott, the safety. Well, they did throw interceptions on their last two drives, so no surprise at all they decided to start it with a running play. I'm actually a little bit surprised, though, that they got as much out of it as they did. Yeah, decent little game. Puts them in a pretty good spot for second down. <laughs> this complete to Lockett. And he works it across the 25 before being tackled. Under a minute to go in this third quarter as they come up first and ten. Handoff up the middle, Hunt. And some room to maneuver. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. Another big hitter there. This one good for 18. Coming in, he really liked his chance of having a big year based on a terrific offseason. And runs like that on opening weekend show that he's right. We are through three quarters here on NFL Kickoff Weekend. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. I'm really not running my plays. I don't know why. Some good games around the league here early in week one, and this one shaping up to be as good as any of them as we come up on a first and ten. Burt sets up to throw it. He'll find his tight end. That's Waller. And he takes this one down and goes all the way to the 30. So into bear territory now. This is first and ten at the 32-yard line. 
And he can only manage to get a couple. I suck at running. Second at and that. eight coming up. I like that run right there, partner. Not the flashiest run, not the one that's going to break for big yardage, but he understands the situation. And taking care of the football, paramount. And he got it done. Nursing that slim lead, you're exactly right. Hold on to that. Ball. I call this this guy. Why am I not calling none of my plays? Why am I not calling none of my plays? I'm calling plays like these. Like, I'm not calling my plays, though. Second down. Hurts. And he's just going to get rid of this thing to no one here. He Why am I not calling none of my plays? Oh, that's good decision making right there. Understood down in distance. Knew it wasn't third down, and he still had another opportunity to earn the first down. Good job throwing it away and avoiding an interception. And now the third down throw incomplete as well. Sometimes the game is pretty simple. Put a few extra defensive backs on the field, give them nowhere to throw the football, force the incompletion, and get off the field on third down. The kick by Bass is good. And then they move up by 10 now, 17 to 7. So that's CD, an important one here in the fourth quarter. And that importance cannot be overstated. All eyes on both sidelines were staring that one down all the way. The significance is that they made it. That nigga too fast, bro. Straight on him. time left to go, but likely that was their goal at the start of the drive. Get three points, make it a two-score game, and they were able to get it done. At the line, prepping for their next drive, the Bears offense. A tougher task for them now. That turnover on their last possession led to the field goal, meaning that they have to now try to erase a two-score deficit here in the fourth. There to make the tackle, Dion Leonard. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. Mariota to throw it. He'll fire this deep for Ayuk. And my goodness, another interception. Picked off by Ronald Darby. And the Broncos are going to take over once again with a football at their own 20 yard line. On first and 10, it's Hurts. He's going to loft one deep left side here. And that's caught inside the 30. And he'll be brought down at the 27. Quite a show of arm strength right there. That was in the air for a long time, and it was on target, too. So that changes things in a big way. Now from all the way down inside the 30, here's first and 10. A throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. The defender certainly didn't forget about him leaking out of the backfield. There was a guy ready and waiting to pick him up in coverage. And that throw had no shot. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. Throwing his hurts. Over the middle complete. It's Hunt. And he'll be marked down. Either me, either it's me, or that was almost picked up. In need of a conversion on third down. They had the big play to start the drive. Not much since. From the gun, it's hurts. And intercepted. Maybe the turning point they need. Eddie Jackson picks it. And the Bears are going to take possession ah. of the football. I tell you what, credit is due there on them preventing the touchdown after that interception. How about him chasing him down and not giving up the pick six? Because what happens a lot of the time is when you see the interception, you just kind of hang your head a little bit and you momentarily pause because you're frustrated. He shook that off and gave great chase and got it done. Still a great return and very good field position. They'll wind up getting seven on the play, and that's going to bring up second down. Mariota now. Throwing over the middle, and it's incomplete. But we've talked about it, CD, but it bears repeating. They are struggling to throw the football. All the interceptions and more incompletions. It just doesn't look like things are in sync out there. I would agree with that, and it's not a good day when you feel like an incomplete pass. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. Picked off, Byron Jones. And the Broncos are going to take over here. The the fuck is super die. This was touchdown or bust, and unfortunately for them, it turned out to be bust. Yeah, they're feeling like they've got to force the issue here. Maybe take some chances they wouldn't have earlier in the game. 
But give credit to this defense. They've really stood tall throughout, and they come up with the interception in the end zone. The Broncos onto the field, ready to start their next drive. They have to like the position that they are in. Fourth quarter, two-score lead, and now the ball back after the INT. And they will get him down, but not before he gets very good yardage there. As that will lead us right My into the My defense is crazy. Running. So it's Bronco football as we get your reset here. And the scoreboard on their side, they're just looking to melt away these final couple of minutes and put this one in the left-hand column. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Here's Hurts to throw. Looking for and finding Amari Cooper again. And he'll be hauled down at about the 30-yard line. Another yard would probably put this thing in the books. It's second and one. That one looks like he'll throw here. And he's going to lose a yard or two. Taken down behind the line. Dalvin Tomlinson in there to get him once again. That's two sacks for him now here on opening day. Exactly what they were looking for. They've been giving up yardage. They've been letting them drive right downfield. But they got a sack right there. How about that for a little bit of revenge? On third and short, they'll try and pick it up through the air. And the throw there going to be incomplete. Well, the other day they told us, when we've got third and five or less, we have to be able to convert. And I guess every team would say that, Charles, but an opportunity miss there. What they were trying to tell us is they believe it's a matchup game at that point. And they liked some matchups that they had, thought they could exploit them, unable to do so on that play. They're going on fourth down with Hurts. Able to find Walter. That's complete. And all the way home for a Bronco score. Darren Walter, 31 yards. And the Broncos are closing in on a winning start to the year as they extend their fourth quarter lead. The extra point by Bass. Up and good. And that'll make this a three-score game now. The lead moves to 17. To the touchdown bass to kick it away and to no one's surprise here in denver that'll carry through the back of the end zone for a touchback the bears offense ready to go for their next drive and they knew coming in that this would be a tough place to go in and win a season opener but this has just been a performance to be frank not to be proud of here's it that's caught inside the 20. And he's going to be brought down at about the 16. This nigga just threw it up. Uh, he's bro. been doing this for a lot of years. With the arm strength still there, and he showed it off on that one. A real field flipper there as all of a sudden they've got a first down in the red zone. Mariota's throw there caught by Fehoko. And one of the whistles for a timeout. So they'll stop the clock here in a game that's been decided in the closing seconds. Two yards left on second down from the nine. Throwing, Mariota. Going out wide, finds Chubb. And he's able to get this down to the five-yard line before he's out of bounds. Four yards on the play. That's going to lead to first and goal. Now we'll get whistles, and they signaled for a timeout. Not sure I see the logic in this, but we'll get a stoppage anyway with five seconds remaining. So three plays already first and goal, and they are wasting little time. One last shot now for Mariota toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up in big play. They lead big, and a major part of that has been how they've taken their play to a whole new level this second half. No points allowed since the break, and you can add another incompletion to the total number that they forced in this runaway contest. And we will get a timeout with two ticks left. The 
one final shot they'll look to throw. Being chased out, and it's intercepted at the goal line. Picked off by Ronald Darby. And the Broncos come up with a late turnover, but it will probably really matter to the statisticians as this ball game is now officially over. The CD always a little extra excitement for week one, and one of our early window games here in week one on a Sunday comes to a close. Good to be back in the booth with you, my friend. And it's good to be back in the booth with you as well. We know that not everyone's going to start the season 1-0, right? Half the league is going to have a loss on their record. But everyone's got to build off of that opener. And how many coaches tell us every single year to make your most progress between week one and week two. We'll see how both of these teams progress the rest of the season. So for Denver, that'll be a happy locker room as they start the season 1-0. And they will hit the road next week to take on the Detroit Lions. Meanwhile, for Chicago, they obviously fall to 0-1 with the defeat. And they'll be at home for one next week as the Atlanta Falcons come to town. First play. Look at this. I gave this up. I ran off like I'm trying to. That's what I'm saying. That's not. Throw 15 for 55. Who is he? Oh, well, who is this nigga bull rushing through the line like this? Dog, what? This was crazy. 
I'm thinking he coming across the middle. This nigga ran out of bounds, bro. Like on some dumb shit. This nigga ran out of bounds. Free pick. Third quarter. Oh, yeah. Let's go. Ain't no replay for that last touchdown. He's locked down, so he got his X Factor activated too when he's still that much. Alright, I'm gonna go back to finish eating. I'm done with this. This was a good way to start the season. I heard you bum ass niggas stop throwing picks. Why ain't get that for the whole team then? You feel me? Like. That's so trash. 